Hey everybody, this is Shane R. Monroe with NVIDIA Shield Zone. Today we're going to be looking at the Cygnus controller from Nyko. Now this guy just came out, it's 25 bucks on Amazon. And you may be familiar with some of Nyko's other products including the loved it or hate it Nyko Playpad, which is still one of my favorite controllers. And uh, we're going to open this guy up. Uh, I haven't used it at all, we got some batteries to shove in here. Um, it is battery based, not charging based, which is the first negative for it. And then uh, we'll hook it up to a Shield tablet and see how she works. So let's get started. And yes, you'll hear my dogs in the background as per usual. See, I didn't even cut this thing open until I got to you guys. How about that, huh? Right, so let's see what we got in the box. All right. Here we go. Okay. All right, so here we have this thing sealed shut and fix that. All right. Okay, so there we go. All right, so here it is. Um, let's see, so we have that's interesting. We have a USB up on the top, which if it's not for charging, I don't know what that's for. Maybe PC hookup no instructions in the box so I guess we have to go from scratch two analog controllers starts uh, start and select d-pad actually feels very responsive um, the buttons are a little narrow but okay uh, so let's compare it to this other Nyko right it looks like kinda cut from the same cloth um, kinda compare here um, Buttons feel about the same. The analog sticks feel about the same. The D-pad actually on here feels better than the D-pad on the uh, the Pro Pad. And uh, on top, these are definitely weaker. Yeah, definitely weaker on the uh, triggers. These feel a lot better. Yeah, and of course the bumpers feel about the same. Yeah. Okay. So the first big hit here is. The triggers yeah definitely a weaker weaker model okay so we've got this to compare here let's um take a shield controller and slap it in the foray here um, so it's definitely as you can see a lot s smaller more compact and uh, if we look at the back side um, let's grip this guy it feels pretty good Actually, it feels better because see the way that these fins come in kind of on the bottom? These don't have that, and it definitely feels better. It's more comfortable in the hand. All right, so that uh, pretty much eliminates that from the equation. And let's look, hold it up next to the venerable 360 controller. Now, you got to remember, this is like $50 or $60, and this is $25, so you have to keep that in mind. Um, this one only has one mode, and that's Bluetooth uh, controller. Whereas, like the original um, Nyko PlayPad Pro, you could set it to be like a mouse, uh, iCade settings, etc. So, still a use for that guy. So I'm kind of comparing. They feel, um, you know, the, the D-pad. The D-pad feels really good on this. I think this is going to be my go-to D-pad guy. So even the D-pad on here doesn't feel as this feels very definitive all right well that's enough of that controller all right so we've looked at the shield controller compared to this so let's uh, assume the battery case is here slap a couple of batteries in here huh. Rayovac guaranteed to last as long as Energizer well, battery cases it's all right I mean it's not great but it's all right and uh, let's see so I'm assuming thought we'd see a light or something here hmm I didn't really pay that close of attention let me hold this down for a second I can't I really can't believe there's no instruction booklet in here of any kind let me see there has to be something right oh no there is okay Whew. 
All right. So here's our instruction booklet. So we have the standard 900 languages on one sheet of paper. Um, yeah, okay, so it's barely a manual. All right, um, yeah, install batteries. Make sure the battery's in the correct orientation. I guess I should have looked at those. I just assume the negative go to the springs. Uh, press and hold the home button for three seconds. Three LEDs on the face will turn on. So that's probably... Okay. We probably don't need those. Oh, there we go. That's weird. They just suddenly came on. All right. So let's grab our Shield K1 tablet here. And right now it looks like it's paired to a... Uh, let's get all that stuff. All right. So let's go to Bluetooth. And let's see. Oops. More settings. And let's see. So it should be scanning. Okay, there we go. It picked up the controller. All right. This guy pairs up okay. Can't communicate. That's a great way to start. Fantabulous. Let's try again. Of course, just because it's on doesn't mean it's necessarily in pairing mode. Okay. Let's try holding this down. This is probably it. There we go. It's running faster now. Let's go again. Again, the instructions would have been helpful if I didn't have to unfold a poster to get it to work. There we go. Nyko uh, Cygnus controller. By the way, Cygnus is swan in Latin. I looked it up before the interview. Constellation Cygnus. Now it says it can't pair. This is not a good overall sign, although it shows that it's paired. Do we have... No, all right, so let's pair. Let's try to get, go again here. You know what? Let's power this guy like down. I'm sure if we hold it for a few seconds. Uh, one, two, three. Mm. Just tap. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. All right. Let's um forget. Let's see if it'll pair now. Can't believe we're gonna have to break out instructions to figure out how to pair a controller. Can't communicate. I wonder if it's because um it's still hooked up to a shield controller somewhere. Oh, it says no accessories are connected. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, well, you know what? Let's eliminate the uh, potential in the equation. Let's grab the Samsung tab. I was going to put this up, but I'm trying to keep the glare off of it. There we go. That should be sufficient. Fingerprint read. Yes, 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 thank you. All right. Go to Bluetooth. Scan. Showing devices. All right, let's hold this down for a second, make that flash a little faster. gigantic poster out again. Powering up. Let's see. Hold the hold button for two seconds. If down too long, you may accidentally turn it off. The three LEDs will spin more rapidly to say that it is in uh, that mode. I will do that. All right, so we hold it down for two seconds. Oop, now we turn it off. Yeah, this is going to be a fun controller. All right, so now it's on. Hold it for two seconds. It's faster. Scan. 
Bluetooth is definitely on. Oh, there we go. Nyko Cygnus controller connecting. Thinking about it. it says it's paired, but um Mm. Ah, Bluetooth keyboard connected. Perfect. All right. So, uh, all right. Good. All right. Well, that was an effort. I think what I'll do is I'll reboot the Shield device, the Shield K1. And while we're doing this other stuff. All right. Cool. So... Let's see, um, we need something of the gaming persuasion. I usually just have touch stuff on here. Um, well, Zen Pinball lets us uh, use the controller. Should be an adequate uh, test, at least of the bumpers and fl uh, flippers. Uh, okay. This is one of the new Force Awaken tables, I guess. Star Wars Pinball, the Force Awakens. All right. Check the responsiveness. Yeah, I'm really disturbed about these uh, these triggers. They're just not going to hold up. Okay, the bumpers uh, the bumpers feel responsive. That one seemed, that one's a little late. Yeah, yeah. The quality of the bumpers it, the buttons feel fine, but you see, I just slipped that ball. Yeah. This is definitely what I would consider a subpar product. Fortunately, Amazon offers good. Yeah, see, look at that. I couldn't even get the bumper to work. If you have your finger over the bumper completely like this, then it doesn't pick it up unless you're like fingering the bumpers like that. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know how much more we need to actually look at. Um, let's see. Let's get a nice. Um, let's get a nice uh, four directional game like Pac-Man CE, and let's check out how that works out. Oh, well that's great because it's a Bluetooth keyboard. It's taken over um it's taken over my on screen keyboard. Great. Now well, let's turn it off. I Pac Man two fifty six would have been fine too. It's a good four directional controller test. Yeah, considering you can get the PlayPad Pro for about that price if you can get a hold of one, this is this is a very cheap knockoff of the Nyko PlayPad Pro. If you didn't like the PlayPad, I don't think you're gonna like this guy. But again, it's a $25 controller, folks. You gotta keep that in mind. All right, so I can be over here. Just D-pad. Yes, please. I'd like to be given a special time to offer. Oh, thank you. All right. Let's see if the D-pad at least performs. No, oh, it's off. Duh. All right, it should pair right back up. Or maybe it won't. It's on but not paired, right? So we probably have to go in and manually repair it. See the other PlayPad, the PlayPad Pro, don't have to repair, it just pops right on. Just reconnects immediately. Yes, yes I do. And did it literally just turn off? <laughs> Yeah, okay. You know what? I think we can terminate this review fairly early. This is not the uh, the droid or the controller you're looking for. Um, again, I can recommend this guy if you can get your hands on one. Um, but this guy, unfortunately, looks like it is a... Uh, it's just not a good device. It's not a good device. Um, not for 25 bucks even. So, uh, that was, again, the Nyko Cygnus controller. Um... 
Yeah, you know, Nyko used to be pretty cool for third-party stuff. Now it seems like they're just kind of falling into that cheap, um, cheap uh, as possible sort of product. So this is a return to Amazon item now. <laughs> this is Shane R. Monroe with Nvidia Shield Zone. Thanks for watching.